This DVD has been prepared to assist potential band members in learning the necessary skills which will be taught and evaluated during tryout week. All movements should be executed with snap, drive, and precision, avoiding anticipation and hesitation. The most important fundamentals of alignment and movement are based on a measured step. The Ohio State University Marching Band bases the majority of its marching routines on a traditional 8-to-5 chair step marching style. The 8-to-5 chair step is used to cover a distance of 5 yards in 8 equal size steps of 22 and 1 half inches. Use a high knee lift with toes pointed. Hit the yard lines with the ball of the right foot. The feet Ankles and knees should act as shock absorbers. There should be no movement from the waist up and do not bounce or sway. The arm swing should be used when forward marching 8 to 5 with instruments in the carry position. We'll demonstrate with the instruments in the carry position and the playing position. When executing the forward march using the 6 to 5 stride step, take 6 equal size steps of 30 inches each to cover 5 yards of distance. The 6 to 5 stride step is a low step and does not involve a knee lift, toe point, or arm swing. We'll demonstrate with instruments in the carry position and playing position. The Ohio State University Marching Band will often alternate between the 8 to 5 step and the 6 to 5 stride step for special effect, field shows, or during parades. Emphasize the transition when changing marching styles. Use an arm swing during the 8 to 5 step only. We'll demonstrate with instruments in the carry position and the playing position. Backwards marching is executed using the 8 to 5 chair step. Begin by bringing the left leg up into a chair step position. Thrust the left foot backwards to take a 22 and a half inch step. There is no arm swing when backwards marching with instruments in the carry position. For special effects, parade marching, and drill sequences, the Ohio State University Marching Band also uses the 8 to 5 stride step. To execute the 8 to 5 stride step, take 8 equal size steps of 22 and a half inches each to every 5 yards. There should be no knee lift, toe point, or arm swing. The multi-gate step is utilized to create a special drill effect. The multi-gate step size is determined by the distance to be covered in a given number of steps. The halfway technique of visualizing the halfway point should be used to adjust the size of the step, keeping all steps an equal size. We'll demonstrate by taking 12 steps to cover 5 yards of distance. Obliques are usually done on a 45 degree angle with 8 30 inch steps or 12 22 and a half inch steps to cover a distance of 5 yards. They may either be performed to the right or to the left. 
Use an arm swing on counts 1, 5, and 9 when performing a 22 and a half inch oblique with instruments in the carry position. A horn flash must be performed when going into and coming out of an oblique using a 22 and a half inch step, but a horn flash is not used when going into an oblique using a 30 inch step. However, a horn flash is required when coming out of an oblique using a 30 inch step. We'll demonstrate with instruments in the carry position and in the playing position. The swagger step is a half tempo step using horn flashes 45 degrees to the left on count one and 45 degrees to the right on count three. Use an up and over type of horn flash. Step kicks are an 8 to 5 fundamental performed in half tempo, often used to provide visual interest. On count 1, take an 8 to 5 step with the left leg and bring the right leg up into a chair step position. On count 2, thrust the right leg down and extend the foot approximately 4 inches above and parallel to the ground. On count 3, drop the right foot 22 and a half inches ahead of the left foot and bring the left leg into a chair step position. On count four, thrust the left leg down and extend the foot approximately four inches above and parallel to the ground. Kick, 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 kick,